This is not a toy. This is not a go-kart. It is a tool to help you at work. You have no idea how much power is behind you when you're driving this. The number one priority is to be aware of your surroundings. Two common misconceptions are that it's very easy or it's very difficult. They're powerful, they can pick up a lot of things, making it a lot easier, a lot more efficient to move objects. A forklift is not like an automobile, it's not like anything you've driven before. With all of that weight moving, you can't stop fast like a car, you can't steer fast like a car. When we have a load, we typically drive backwards, and which means you're turning over your shoulder all the time while you're driving. In training, I stress what we call a three-point mount. Um, two hands firmly on the cage of the forklift, one foot on the floorboard, and swinging yourself onto the, the seat of the forklift. The seat belt use is required by OSHA, and the primary purpose of the seat belt is to keep you from being tempted to jump free and clear with the unit start to tip over. Never attempt to jump off the forklift. Never jump off. Never even, never attempt to jump off. No, never jump off because you don't know where the tow motor is going to go. You don't know where what you're carrying is going to go. Well, during the pre-operations inspection, you should look at the tires, the quality of the tires, no cuts, no strips. You should look at the mast, you should look at the hydraulic lines, make sure there are no leaks, look underneath the truck to make sure there are no leaks, check your seat belt, check your horn. The lower the low it is to the ground, the more stable you are. Once, obviously, as you get higher, you're going to lose a little stability, especially when you're turning. So you want to make sure you want to keep your load nice and low. Raising or lowering your load while you're moving causes you to have a non-constant center of gravity and it's less predictable. You never want to come head on with the pedestrian, especially if there's something behind like a bench or a fixed object or something like that. Should your brakes go out or whatever, you're going to be pinning that person. It's not just a matter of turning the engine off, though you should turn the gas off also. And if you're going to be taking a break in the break room, you should disconnect the electrical connection when you do that also.